Hello and welcome to this episode of the Apogee Accelerator series. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to expose your APIs to external consumers on the internet via Apogee. When you first provision an Apogee X instance, one of the steps you'll need to decide is whether you want to allow traffic from external clients. By themselves, newly created Apogee X instances are only accessible to clients within your Google Cloud network. Internal API consumers can reach your APIs using Apogee's internal IP address, but they won't be visible to external consumers. While this might be fine for some organizations, many need to expose their APIs to external consumers over the internet. Using Google Cloud Load Balancing, you can provide external access to your Apogee instances wherever they're located. Google Cloud Load Balancing is a globally distributed, software-defined, managed service for all your API and application traffic. With Cloud Load Balancing, you can also enable Cloud Armor for WAF and DDoS protection, or leverage Cloud CDN for global caching using Google's Edge network. To expose an Apogee X instance to the internet, simply deploy an external load balancer in your Google Cloud VPC. You'll assign an external IP address and host name to this load balancer, and this is where your external consumers will connect. Apogee's provisioning tools, such as our step-by-step -step wizard, offer to create an external load balancer for you during the setup process. And this is the quickest way to get started if you'd like to enable external access. However, if you decide to begin with internal only access and later realize you need to expose APIs externally, this sample will show you how. There are a couple of ways to connect the external load balancer to your Apogee X instance. In this sample, we leverage Private Service Connect or PSC to connect to the Apogee instance. You can find more information about these options in our documentation. Now let's see how to deploy this sample. In order to run this sample, you'll need an Apogee X instance provisioned with no internet access configured. As a user, you'll need permissions to configure access routing. This can be granted through the Compute Network Admin role. You'll also need the ability to create environments in Apogee, and this can be enabled using the Org Admin or the Environment Admin role. To deploy this sample, you'll also need the command line tools shown here. If you're using Google Cloud Shell, these are already installed. We've included a Cloud Shell tutorial which you can simply click to quickly get started. Now that you're in the Cloud Shell environment, you can follow the step-by-step -step instructions. First, change to the directory for this sample. To deploy the sample, first open up the env.sh file and set the configuration to reference your Apogee project, VPC network and subnet. Next, run the included script to deploy the load balancer components. This process will take some time to complete while certificate provisioning occurs. When the script completes, you should see a message showing the external runtime hostname and a sample curl command. Run the curl command to send a test request. You should see a success response returned along with the response body Apogee Ingress is healthy, which indicates the instance is reachable via the external URL. If you see an SSL error, wait a second and try again. Now let's take a quick look at what components were created. Go to the Apogee management UI at apogee.google.com. Under the Admin Environment section, you should see a sample environment. Under the Environment Groups section, you should see a corresponding group with a host name that was created. For this sample, we use nip.io to provide a DNS entry based on the external IP of the load balancer. Apogee uses the host name of incoming requests to route API calls to the correct environment. Under the Instances section, you can see the PSC service attachment. The external load balancer connects to this. Next, switch to the GCP console and select Load Balancing under Network Services. 
you should see the load balancer that was deployed by the script. If you click the load balancer, you'll see the details page showing the external IP address and port number and the TLS certificate that was provisioned with the external NIP.io hostname. At the bottom of the load balancer details page, you can see the backend configuration. The backend service contains a network endpoint group, or NEG, that points to the PSC service attachment we saw before. Now you've seen how simple it is to create an external load balancer in front of Apogee. When you're done with the sample, you can provide us with your feedback. And then you can use the cleanup script to delete the configuration that was deployed to your Google Cloud project. We hope you found this useful, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to our channel to see more videos in the Apogee Accelerator series. And if you have questions, please post them on the Apogee community. Thanks for watching.